That was huge for the team morale. What is up y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We are here in St. Michael's, Maryland, teeing it up at the Lynx at Perry Cabin. This course looks lush and pristine, little breezy today. This is gonna be part one in the front nine. We are gonna be tipping it out and the distance from the tips here is 7,023 yards. This is another state we knock off the list. This is my very first round of golf I've ever played in Maryland. Excited to tee it up. We're just gonna jump straight into one right now. Par four bends a little to the left. I don't see why not to hit driver. Probably aiming down the left side with a little fade. Not much fade on that. We just decided to take that right at the pin. That's probably in the rough, but should be all right. Just right of the cart path here, 91 yards left. You can see the pin right there just left of the bunker. Really not too bad here. I'm gonna go with a lob wedge, try to flight it down, see if we can't start off our Maryland round with a little pin slammer. Walking up here, it must have landed up there and kicked right because it was pretty much going at the pin however we've got a birdie look here on the first about 15 20 feet let's roll the rock number two par four 390. this one looks to be a little tighter than the first hole so probably just going to go with a three iron here, kind of down the left side. All right, so we got a little bit of the lefts early in the round. We'll get it worked out, don't you worry. Found the rough for the second time today. Slight tree trouble, but shouldn't be too much of an issue. 125 left. Let's flight down a little gap wedge here and knock it close. We might have got a wee bit of a flyer right there. It's on the green, but that is going to be a long putt. That was huge for the team morale. Even par through two, we're on a number three, par four, 418, pretty straight. Kind of just want to play it down the left side. These fairways sure do look pure. We're gonna wanna find them as often as we can. Got 138 left, right back into the wind. I've got nine iron. Gonna have to control the trajectory today because it is getting a little breezy up above the trees. See if we can't get on the board with a birdie here. Let's knock it close. We'll have to see, but I think that could be pretty good. Well, walking up here, looks like it did land in kind of this collection area, trundled down to here. Got a little bit of green to work with, not a ton, so need to clip this clean. Of 
cool little par three here, number four, 175 into the wind. This wind is pretty strong and it is kind of moving our ball up there. So like I said earlier, we need to flight these down so we can hit our yardages that we're looking for. Probably gonna flight down a seven here, try to hit this pretty full. That wind pushed that one left pretty hard. I don't think the green reaches all the way over there. And I was correct. The green does not reach all the way over here. Not too bad of a place to miss it. You definitely don't want to miss it right because there's all those reeds there in the water. We've got a little green to work with here. Maybe breaking a little left to right. I want to thank the links at Perry Cabin so much for having me out these couple days. This course is so much fun so far. Short game's coming up big for us. We do need to hit it a little closer if we want to make some birdies. I'm staying over at the inn, not far away. It's only about a five minute drive. So you could stay there, come here, tee it up, let it fly. We're on to number five, par four, 397. A lot of water on this hole, all down the right. And then there is more water on the other side of the fairway. So this isn't really a driver probably like a three iron down the left side and we need to hit this fairway. This is kind of a tight tee shot. Even though I did feel like I caught it a little heavy, still got decent distance out of it. Got 135 left, down breeze. I'm gonna go with a flighted little gap wedge. Walking up from the right side of the green, just a little short of pin high. Pretty much stayed right where it landed, about 20 feet. Let's roll the rock. Today is a day of pars. Level par through five, we're on a number six, our first par five of the day. There's some bunkers down the left that are about 260 to carry and bunkers down the right that are around the same to carry. And then some further bunkers down the right that are like 330, but this is into the wind. So I don't think they're in play. Butter fade up the right side. Like I said, that bunker's a long ways off, so that should be just fine. These fairways sure are pure. We've got 185 left. Pin looks to be located just over that bunker on the left side of the green. I think I'm gonna go with a flighted seven iron here. Let's knock it on, let's get under par. Well, that is not what you'll love to see. Just a little past pin high. I may have hit that a little too firm. We don't have much green to work with. We need to land this just off the green there and let it trundle on down. Got probably about, I don't know, 12 feet of green to work with. I tried to get way too cute with that and uh, that was not good. Well, you wouldn't want it in the par streak now, would you? That was a scrounging par after a great tee shot in prime position. And we're in with the par. We're on to number seven, par three, 212, into the wind. The wind is actually kind of switched. It's more off the right. 
not really hurting. So I think I'm gonna go full six iron. This is some thick rough right here. Juicy lie. We've got a little green to work with, basically pin high. And in the comments, let me know, what is this green type of green called where it's like flat, goes down, back up, and then flat again? I have in my head like Billy Bunyan, and that is definitely not it. <laughs> but it's something along those lines. Let me know, I think these greens, these type of green complexes are so cool. There's just so many pin locations you can have on them. So let me know in the comments, what are these called? We've got a couple back to back pretty lengthy holes. Number eight here, part four, 457. Place pretty straight away. We are gonna be teeing it high, letting it fly. Oh, that was hit decent, just pushed right. Definitely in the rough, maybe blocked out behind those trees. Thankfully that tee shot was playing slightly into the wind. I've got 136 here and those trees shouldn't be too much of an issue. Should be able to get a gap wedge up and over them. You can see the flag there just on the other side of that bunker. Well, we are putting, you love to see it. All these like chipping areas look so pure. Absolutely loving this course. There we are, backside of the green, about 20 feet. See if we can't get something to drop here. to the final hole in the front nine in part one at the links at Perry Cabin. Straight away, 357. I didn't come here to lay up. So walking on from the back side of the green, you do not want to be where I think that I am which is over there. There's like no green to work with. And this is what we're looking at. Yep, that is not where you wanna be. 40 yards. You'll love to see it here on the last of part one. Pin slammer here on nine, let's go. Well, that is it for part one. Finish at one under 34. It was a par 35 in great shape to post a good number heading into the back nine. As for me, the links of Perry Cabin, we'll see you when we see you. Peace.